Welcome back to episode number 6 of this tutorial series slash crash course on ROS2. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So now we are going to start focusing on ROS2 communications with topics. You have seen what are nodes and how to create nodes. Now let's see how nodes communicate between each other with topics. And to do that, let's simply start some nodes and I'm going to explain it to you along the way. So let's do ROS to run demo nodes CPP. Let's start the talker node. So this node will, as you can see, uh, write some logs on the terminal and say publishing hello world with a number. In this terminal, let's do ROS to run demo nodes CPP listener. So listener. And as you can see here, it's quite obvious that what's being sent, actually what's being published here, hello world 25, is received by the listener node. Okay. In this terminal, I'm going to do RQT graph. Okay. And you can refresh, you can put nodes only or maybe nodes topics all. So you can have the view like this. And what do we have here? Well, as you can see, we have the node poker. We have the node listener, so nothing new. And we have this box slash chatter. What is chatter? Well, chatter is actually a topic. And so what's a topic? Well, it's simply a way to communicate between nodes. Okay, you will have nodes that are going to publish. So the talker node is going to publish on the chatter topic. And the listener node is going to subscribe to the chatter topic. Okay. So in order to make one node communicate with another one by just sending data from one to the other one, you're going to use a topic. So the talker is actually not talking directly to the listener. The talker is publishing to Chatter and the listener is subscribing to Chatter. So in the end, this data that is being sent from the talker node is going to be received by the listener, but going through this topic. Okay, let's come back to the terminal and actually let's use some more common line tool. So ROS2, you have seen ROS2 run, you have seen ROS2 node. Actually, you can do ROS2 topic with list. And you can see we have the topic chatter. I can do ROS2 topic info slash chatter. And you can see we have the type. We have one publisher, we have one subscriber. Okay, so the publisher is going to be actually this one the talker, the subscriber is the listener. Now I can do ROS2. So this type is actually what is being sent, okay? Because there is the topic name, which is chatter, but then there is also kind of a data type that you need to respect when you publish or when you subscribe. So you can do ROS2 interface. That's gonna be called an interface. Show with this. And you can see that in this, so we have some comments and you have string data. So what's being sent between the talker and the listener is actually a message called, so std messages slash message slash string, which contains a data of type string. Now let's kill this and let's kill this. So you can see with command line tools, you can actually introspect and see what's going on in your graph. You can use the ROS2 to topic to see in the terminal. You can use also RQT graph to have a visual representation. Now you can also listen to what's being sent to a topic directly from the terminal. So let's say you run the talker, just the talker. The listener is not running. Uh, let's do here ROS2 topic equal slash Chatter. So now we know the name of the topic because that's the one we have found here. Okay, let's press enter here. And you can see we receive data. Hello world uh, 17 here, etc, etc. And the data is here because that's actually the data type here. It's so the data type. So the interface is actually of type string. And the name of the message is data. So we receive data with hello world something. What's happening in the uh, subscriber of the listener is that the message is going to be processed. Okay, so we don't have data, we just have the string here. So I can also run the listener. And you can see here we receive the message in this terminal and in that terminal. Okay, so we've 
um, I can show you that with Ross Topic Info, we have one publisher and we have two subscribers. If I do RQT Graph again, let's refresh and let's also uncheck the debug. So don't worry about this and, and that. What you can see now is that we have the topic chatter. We have one publisher and we have two subscribers. We have the listener node and we have a node that's actually being created when we create a uh, subscriber. So when we actually use the Ross topic uh, eco comment, that's going to create a subscriber just in that terminal. Okay. So you can see that we can have many subscribers for one topic and we could also have many publishers for one topic. And so all the publishers are going to publish to this and all the data is going to be sent to all the subscribers. So this subscriber is going to receive the same thing as this subscriber, for example. Now, if I, let's say, kill this one, I go back to RQT Graph, I refresh. You can see now we don't have this node anymore. We just have the listener. I'm going to remove debug. Okay. Now, okay, that was the first example. Let's use another example. So let's clear this. Let's come back to the turtle sim. So ROS2 run turtle sim with turtle sim node. Okay, so we have the turtle sim. Let's put that actually on the side. And in this one, let's do ROS2 run turtle sim. And what do we have? We can also run the turtle teleop key. Okay. And with this, if I select this terminal and I press the arrows of the keyboard, I can make the turtle move. Okay. Now here, let's do RQT graph. Let's actually refresh. And okay, you have group two. Let's go to zero. Okay. So that the view is going to be maybe a bit more simplified. So what do we have here? We have two nodes. We have the turtle sim node and we have the teleop turtle node. And so what's happening? What's happening is that you can see that what we have in this node, so with the turtle teleop key node, is going to be sent to the turtle sim node, okay? Because when we actually press the keys on the keyboard in this terminal, the turtle is moving, but the turtle is handled by this program, okay? So two different nodes. So you can see here clearly with the RQT graph that this is going to be actually here. Turtle1 slash cmd vel for command velocity. So we have a topic, turtle one common velocity. And so the teleop turtle node is going to send some message. So it's going to publish some message to this topic. And the turtle sim node is going to subscribe. So it's going to receive messages from this topic. And this way, this node can actually talk to that node. And you can see we have other topics. So I'm not going to uh, give more details about this, but you can also see that this node turtle sim is also sending messages to the teleop turtle okay so you can have different topics and you can have even like a closed loop control if you want between two nodes okay one node can send some data to the other node and this node can also send data to that one okay so we can have like a closed loop control but for now let's focus on that topic here so this node is sending data to that node if I do ROS2 topic list, I can see here turtle one common velocity. So I can do ROS2 topic info slash turtle one slash common velocity. And I can see I have one publisher, one subscriber. The publisher is that one, the subscriber is that one. The type of the data is this one. So I can do ROS2 interface show with the type and I can see that this interface is actually a vector 3 so that's another interface linear which contains x y and z and angular which contains x y and z so that's a common velocity to give a linear velocity okay following three axes and an angular velocity following also three axes and so this is what is being sent actually from this node to that node. All right, so basically put, a topic is a way to communicate between different nodes in your ROS application. 
Nodes actually don't directly talk to each other, they just publish or subscribe to a topic. You can have multiple nodes publishing on the same topic and multiple nodes subscribing to the same topic. So a topic has a name, which is kind of actually the address of the topic, so the nodes know where to publish or where to subscribe, and they have a data type, so they also know what to send and what to receive. The topic mechanism is anonymous, which means that, for example, if a node is subscribing to a topic, it is just going to receive the messages from that topic, it doesn't know which node is publishing them. Alright, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course on Rust2 for beginners. This course contains more than 10 hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete Rust2 applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.